We had a very uh, hot summer. From mid-June to mid-August, we didn't have any rain. We began to pick the white grapes on the 19th of August. To make a, a good white wine, it's very important to preserve the aromas of the berries. For that, when we pick, we put the berries in baskets and we put these baskets in refrigerated trucks until we bring the berries to the cellar. For the red grapes, there was something very atypical this year. The maturity was stopped by eight and a drought, and we had to wait three weeks to get perfect ripeness. The challenge of the solar harvest was to harvest out of the sun so as to protect our work team and our grapes. Thanks to our densimetering sorting process, only a few green berries have been removed because the sugar concentration was so high. After a 16-18 day maceration, the extracted juice show great maturity. Côté mission, on a eu besoin de 7 dégustations d'assemblage et une trentaine d'essais de différents assemblages pour progressivement arriver à cerner mission. Ce qui est intéressant à s'occuper des deux crues, c'est qu'il y a une émulation entre ces deux crues. La spécificité de mission cette année, c'est que dans l'assemblage des vins, on retrouve la proportion de cépages qu'il y a au vignoble. Aux alentours de 45, 45, 10, une petite dizaine de cavernets francs, on est face à un grand millésime. Le charme, rondeur, structuré, le goût. Ah, j'aime beaucoup 2020. 2020 is a unique vintage. During the spring, with an early and fast growing period, we had to act with a lot of reactivity. Then we had to adapt our method to a hot and dry summer by reducing our interventions in the vineyard. It was also necessary to be patient to reach a perfect ripeness. But 2020 is also unique with a very strong human factor. All these conditions make 2020 outstanding. Our concentrated wine, carried by an incredible freshness, allow La Mission Brion 2020 to be a success in both red and white. Mm -hmm.